1990, Glasgow will be officially designated European City of Culture, and the myth of Scotland as a Brigadoon backwater will finally be dispelled. Or will it? Economics. Could Scotland manage its own affairs, or would it blow the lot on a piss-up? <laughs> Industry. What is that? Education. Could the system be done gooder? <laughs> Just five of the questions we'll be attempted to answer throughout this new 38-week series, Is Scotland Crap? <laughs> In the studio with me, a cross-section of Scottish society ready to give their expert views. You may have noticed something unusual about this group of Scots with expert views. That's right, Muriel Gray isn't among them. <laughs> so, is Scotland crap? Would MD like to take up that point? Yes, yes. yes you, sir. Yes. That'd be funny. No, I can assure you. Yes, 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 yes. Scotland is crap. <laughs> and having recently completed a PhD on the subject, I know the reason for all Scotland's ills is them bastard English. <laughs> I, I've got scientifically proven evidence to substantiate this. One, they're English. <laughs> Two, they come from England. <laughs> Three, they are scum. Yes, we get the general idea. <laughs> so what's the solution? I say we should invade England. <laughs> and what would this achieve? Eh, uh, well, eh, uh, it would wipe the smile off their faces for a start. <laughs> I'm afraid I really must disagree. And why is that? Well, for a start, <clears throat> I am... English. Oh, wow. But I've lived here for many years. I've lived here for many years. I, I married a bra Scotch lad, and both my sons have good Scotch names, Morag and Kirsty. Hello, boys. No fucking no. Uh, excuse me, sir. <clears throat> Shut it, you, you dunder head. I understand you're a police officer. No. I'm Inspector Taggart. <laughs> the personification of the macho Scott. Tough, sardonic, and with a face like a well scalped ass. So can I take it, Inspector Taggart, that you agree with the popular view of your average Scot as a wee, unkempt, drunken yaff? Well, that'll be shining bright. You can see blocks like me up and down all over the countryside. In police stations? No, in Dutch houses. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. I think it's time that some of the women had their say here. I mean, I do think that it's time that we listen to the voice of Scottish women. I mean, just think of all the achievements that Scottish women have made over the last the last few years. There's things like, uh, there's that, well, there was, um, thing. And, well, well, wait, uh, uh, one of us won, Bob says, opportunity knocks. <laughs> and well done, Brenda, we'd all like to see that. Uh, so I really feel it's time that Scottish women had their say. Go on. Oh, well, I didn't mean right this minute. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> if, I could, if I could... If I could refer back to my PhD for a moment. Oh, you and your PhD, I don't believe you even have a PhD. Of? From which university? Well, in a special unit. Oh, yes, well, that will be right enough to forgive me. May I speak? May yes, I speak? of course, sir. Um, I, I, would, I would just like to say that what's going on here is absolutely outrageous. I mean, I, I, I'm bloody furious. I really am. I mean, how can you be so negative about dear old Caledonia? Negative? I thought we were bombing it up. Please, please. I, I happen to, to love my country. I'm proud to be Scottish. I mean, I, 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 I adore the Sunday Post. I've got a Scotsman calendar. I, I, I'm taking Gaelic at night classes. And, and, and furthermore, I have just been measured for my kilt. I love Scotland. My him. <laughs> and in which part of Scotland do you live? Well, I'm actually living in Coolham in Surrey at the minute. 